Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Jikad and today we're back with another banger video giving you guys the latest and greatest news regarding Pulse Chain's key event, which was yesterday, the SEC court hearing. How did it go? What do we expect moving forward? What's the market sentiment? And when do we expect to get an update from the court slash the judge? Every question will get answered in this video. Thank you very much for choosing to support my video. Guys, a reminder, I have to keep reminding people, if you are watching this video now, you are already a winner. You're already ahead of the curve. We are truly the number, the 1% in pulsing. The rest of the 99% of people, they're either laughing at us, they're ignoring us, or they even don't know about Pulse Chain yet. Getting the case dismissed or won by Richard Hart will put us on a lot of people's radars. The FOMO will happen. Centralized exchanges will start listing us again, lowering, the, lowering that barrier for entry. Okay, do not catch the wrong side of that FOMO, the fear of missing out. Okay, to me personally, I'm never going to have enough of DCAing into those four tokens. But hey, as long as I'm doing it, DCAing is a really powerful tool as well. Um, you know what I mean? Most of my long-term positions are in Pulsion and I've been really, really happy in the past year as well, making all those videos and a lot of the, you know, the community that I've built a reminder as well for you to join the conversation. Be part of a community. Don't be left alone. If you have any questions, please put them down in the Telegram below. I open that Telegram almost 20 times a day. Of course, I'll, I'll get back to you. Um, and I really want to appreciate all the support that I've been receiving. Thank you very much to the YouTube members who are choosing to support my small channel. Okay, it's my pleasure to make these videos for you guys and educate you guys on how to become a disciplined investor. Okay, have that independent thinking, understand beyond articles, beyond looking at other influences. You know what I mean? Have your own thought process. I want to provide you the tools so that you can make your own informed decisions because, of course, at the end of the day, I'm not a financial advisor. I am here just to educate. I'm here also just to share, give spotlight to projects. And my main investment, guys, is Pulsion. It is truly becoming more than just an investment to me. I have conviction, okay? The more I learn about Richard Hart, what he stands for, because some people even say, is he Satoshi Nakamoto? Some people say, I don't know. <laughs> there is a chance, and I think there, there could be a chance he could be the, the Bitcoin, the anonymous Bitcoin creator. There's a lot of reasons why, uh, you know, the, the person who created, invented Bitcoin, even if it's alive, I heard it's two people, one of them died, the other one is still there. There's a lot of reasons why he or she still wants to be anonymous, okay? Because, of course, people go after him. <laughs> you know what I mean? The governments want to have a few words with him. But going back to it, uh, you know, thank you very much for watching this video. Moving on, we have a tweet here from your friend Sami. This is the judge, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she is, her name is uh, Carol. <laughs> judge Auntie Carol, that's not her name, but yeah, she's a Judge Carol. Um, and you can see actually, it's kind of funny because what she's wearing is almost the pulse chain, the pulse X, and the INC and the hex colors. If you kind of look into it, you can see the purple, the orange, you know, what I mean, a little bit of green here and there. <laughs> so, shout out to the judge as well. She seems very knowledgeable about crypto, guys. And just gonna let you know, okay, the TLDR bullish, the court hearing went bullish. When do you expect um, something to, well, here, as you said, um, expect it up to 60 to 90 days after today for a result on jurisdiction. So, of course, what does this mean? If there was jurisdiction, then, then of course, the court uh, proceeds to the next steps. If there was no jurisdiction, basically, um, the SEC would have to refile the uh, the, the case with another judge Um whatever, right? Because of course, what is uh, Richard Hart's also a big defense that he's pushing forward from the lawyers, from the 11 R Richard Hart lawyers, is that the fact that Richard Hart doesn't live in the US, okay? And of course, amongst of other reasons is number one, you can't really sue a piece of code, right? It, it's kind of going against the First Amendment where it's just freedom of speech. Then the day, it's autonomous code. You know what I mean? How can you sue a piece of code, um, et cetera? How can you call Paul Shane as a defendant? Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, Pulse Chain community is waiting. I have another update here uh, where it's kind of a, a feedback. The judge asked, where did the money go? What does it matter? She states, it's his funds to do whatever. So you can claim fraud, but but if he's not defrauding anybody and he says what he's going to do with the money or says it's not yours anymore, 
how can you be defrauding anyone? Absolutely crazy. The judge seems very knowledgeable about crypto as well. And I believe, um, you know, people left that court hearing more bullish, more confident. I was, I, I'm already confident that we're going to win the SEC case. You know what I mean? I was just worried about the time rug in, in terms of that kind of thing. Because we've seen what happened with XRP, unfortunately. But let us see with this Judge Carol, guys. She, I'm telling you, she might become a hexagon after this. You know what I mean? She's learning. She's doing research. She's like, hold on. Hold on. I might need to become a hexagon. You know what I mean? So I'm going to keep an eye on, uh, on the colors that of, of the clothes that she's going to wear. She's trying to say that, hold on, I'm becoming a hexagon. You know what I mean? A reminder as well, quick reminder, that, yeah, if you're holding Peter, you are a winner. Oh, my God, he's here. Yeah, you're him. You know what I mean? Pronouns he slash him. <laughs> um, anyways, I also wanted to show this snippet here from uh, Wick. Shout out to him. Best summary with a few sentences regarding the court hearing. So let us watch this one minute video. You are definitely going to like it. You will see how confident things were in there, guys. The trial was it was actually quite fascinating. I thought, you know, it was going to be like, all right, it's going to be boring as hell. Yeah. Our, our team, Richard, either... I mean, either he's paying them a lot of money and got the best guys ever, okay? Or these guys are just awesome. They were they were <laughs> destroying the SEC guys. Destroying. destroying them. Destroying them. Like, and the judge was like on our, like, I, I thought she was like Richard's friend. Like, just, just everything they say, she kept interrupting them. I was like, no, well, you know, how can you say that? How does that affect it? Wait a minute, that was after the date. What difference does that make? I mean, she was, she was coming down on them hard. Was she pressing? And, so she's pressing the SEC side. Was she pressing uh, RH's side as well? Uh, she was asking good questions, but she, uh, yeah. but, uh, but, um, you know, Richard Hart's side, uh, the two lawyers that spoke there were, were phenomenal. They were just, they really had their, 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 their act down. They were cool, calm and collected, uh, well-spoken and, um, had all, had all of the, had all of the relevant details and, and know the court system. They know, they know, they know what's relevant, what's not relevant. It was awesome. You know, if you ask me, what are these uh, SEC guys going to do for the next two months while they're waiting? I think they're going to tell all their fan friends to buy Pulse Chain and, uh, and <laughs> because I think they know what's coming. Now, that listen, that's no guarantee. I'm not. I'm not giving any financial <laughs> advice here, right? But um, you know, even the people that went in there, you know, I won't mention any names because I don't know if you let them tell you themselves. They, they were like, ah, 50-50, I don't know how it's going to go. They left seventy-five positive, twenty-five, and they're being conservative with those numbers. You know, I'm walking out of there 95 percent like this, this. You know, you never know with the court system, especially since, you know, the court and the SEC could be playing on the same team. Right. I don't know. Right. right? So yeah. I just don't see how um, it could not be dismissed. The case can I, I just don't. Jeez, he left that court hearing having a 95 percent confidence, guys, from a 50 50. OK, that's absolutely crazy. That judge, she does seem very, very based. So I'm very happy, honestly. Um, super excited again do remember that we are expected to hear an update from the judge in the next 60 to 90 days i think that's kind of the uh, maximum that we're gonna really need to wait and again it could be even as low as a few weeks okay keep that in mind as well and here a tweet from gibson big shout out to him the judge poked holes in the sec case even she knows the sec has no solid grounds for this case to move forward when this case gets dismissed in the coming days slash weeks, it's mega bullish for Hex and Pulse Chain. December quarter first will be huge for our ecosystem. Absolutely, 100%. I feel like December this year is going to be a start of a new chapter in Pulse Chain. Very, very crazy stuff, guys. I'm very excited. And of course, you have Crypto Coffee. I've seen some of his uh, live streams uh, yesterday as well. He was there and you can see the picture. Oh, what a, what a badass picture, man. Look at this. Fire Gensler. We support Richard Hart. And then here, SEC steals everyone's crypto. Sick. I, I think, I believe, uh, yeah, 60 people showed up. I think even almost totaling up to um, 200 people. I've seen 200 people RSVP'd. Um, and like, we have like 44,000 signed petitions, you know, of people who um, basically contributed in the sacrifice, claiming that, yeah, we're not a victim. That's very useful, guys. Okay, I'm going to try to remember to find the link for the petition. I signed it ages ago. Uh, if I remember, hopefully I'll post it down in the description below. You know what I mean? Every one person counts and helps. 44,000 people, guys, signed the petition saying, hey, this sacrifice was not, uh, I'm not a victim at this. So why is the SEC, you know what I mean? Why is the SEC suing Richard Hart, you know what I mean, on our behalf? You understand what I'm saying? That's one of their, obviously, uh, reasons. And I feel like the SEC, man, they're just spending too much of their time going after people spearing which projects to go after with like inconsistency right 
instead of spending that time to clarifying the rules. Because now, all of a sudden, Richard Hart has broken laws that weren't even written. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no such thing as crypto securities. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, hold on. That guy made money. We must go after him. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyways, here's a Crypto Coffee's tweet. Um, summary, the sentiment is overwhelmingly positive for Richard Hart. Lawyers, in my opinion, dismissal went from a small possibility of under 10% to around 50-50. The lawyers had very compelling arguments, especially around jurisdiction. Even without a dismissal, the truth is on their side and they have much better facts to stand on. About 60 people showed up and packed their courtroom. An overflow room was necessary to see everyone unprecedented for a hearing, but not a typical case, but also no, uh, no typical case. Richard Hart supporters believe they are defending blockchain technology as a freedom of speech, while the SEC claims he is a fraudster violating securities laws. Okay, because obviously one of their main things is saying that Hex and possibly, you know, Pulse Chain and Pulse X is unregistered securities. Um, and then, yeah, you can see here, um, yeah, uh, the price of rich, despite SEC's mission to protect investors, the price of Richard Hart's crypto product, products crashed 60% following the SEC lawsuit, Okay, so, which is kind of ar ironic, you know what I mean? Scaring and harming educate, educated investors, Hex has recently shown strength and pumped 5x Anyways, proving sentiment is shifting and the market has decided the fear is wearing off. The judge, Carol Ammon, seemed sharp and educated on crypto case law and interested in the truth. Okay, uh, The defense displayed strength and confidence against the SEC. The plaintiff's arguments and body language displayed fragility and vulnerability. <sighs> what a great summary. Thank you very much, man. Crypto Coffee is such an inspiration. I'm really happy and, and honored that he's also following me back. Um, so yeah, really great stuff. You can see this, guys. Like this is a legendary photo. Even here on the on the Telegram when I posted the picture, updating people. Look at this, the Pulse Chain fam. Look at that. That's the people who showed up, guys. And a reminder that most of these like content creators, influencers, you know, what I mean, community members. These are all unpaid people. No one's getting paid to do this. No one's getting paid to sh to show up other than the lawyers, of course, right? This is what a true community is guys it's absolutely crazy honestly i mean obviously uh, i'm not in the u.s but i would have shown up so uh but you know very very sick stuff man like one of the greatest things about posting is definitely our community okay it is definitely our community um anyways a quick reminder as well if you are new to crypto and and i mean it as in if you're very very new to crypto and you need to cover all the basics uh, feel free to check out my course link in the description give it a read Give it a chance, of course, as well, because you're watching this video all the way through. DM me or email me. I'll give you a 90% discount as well. Um, uh, and yeah, and a, a quick reminder as well. For every member, I think most of them as well here took the um, the, the voucher. But every uh, YouTube member gets a 100% discount uh, code. So just a quick reminder to the potential new members. Um, aside from that, guys, quick as well. We're going to go through the INC uh, and the Richard Hardcore tokens. You know what I mean? $2 INC. These are my predictions. You can pause. You can take a screenshot. Um, you know, hopefully we reach that $300 INC, especially with the sacrifice funds. This is actually very, very believable. We've seen what happened with HEX. The same strategy will be used in the Richard Hardcore tokens using the buybacks instead of paying influencers being disingenuous, right? Um, so uh, I'm very, very excited. HEX, guys, this is absolutely crazy. You know I mean, 50 cents, we're only... Which is like it's only a 36x away, and then going to that one dollar is a 75x away. Going to that two dollar way, I think this is where I expected to reach, um, is around 140x. And of course, you know, 3.69, which is a funny number, and as well, it is the number that hex inflates per year, is around a 270x. Very, very possible. I've even seen people throw around five dollar hexes, but of course, that's very, very aspirational. Uh, do understand as well, rem reminder that there will be a euphoric part where, you know, Hex might reach $3, okay? And people will say, oh, no, we're going to reach $5. We're going to reach $10. That is up to you to hold it, but it becomes high risk at that point, right? So this is why I tell people DCA in, DCA out. Simplest strategy. I don't need to go more into it. This, the same way you DCA into something, you can DCA out of it slowly. It averages your entry position and exit position as well. It was great for you. 
because it's very hard to call the bottom on something. It's very hard to call the top on something. Okay, unless you're like Richard Hart when he called the top of Bitcoin in the last bull run. WPLS, uh, very bullish within itself. Okay, uh, you can see here, hopefully we reach that one cent. Of course, going to 20 something cents, that's very, very aspirational. I believe 27 was kind of the number that um, B Roots mentioned in one of his tweets. We will see. I'll be very happy with one cent or even half a cent. And of course, Pulsex, in my opinion, is the better leverage of Pulse Chain. Um, because, you know, the, the, if we look at the, you know, the Pulse X slash w, WPLS ratio, you can see at some point it was at 0 0.24. Now we're at half of that. So one Pulse gives us two Pulse Xs. At some point, imagine this reaches one to one where it reaches parity or even surpasses that. This is all due to the uh, deflation nature of Pulse X. This is why, look at this. We have burnt 5.23% of Pulse X and it slowly keeps burning $29 million worth. This is all because, of course, every single transaction that you execute on Pulse X, small percentage of that goes to buying and burning forever Pulse X out of the supply. Okay, so very, very bullish, very exciting stuff. And then, of course, moving on here, a big shout out to uh, the PRC20 tokens. This is the two most bu bullish PRC20s that Richard Hart himself has have mentioned, right? The PDI, the token that has done a 5,000x. Okay, hopefully the stable coin as in the making. The stable coin that's mathematically will go to $1. It's not a matter of how will it do it. It's literally a matter of when. I've done a lot of videos. Go check them out. You can see here we are a 342 uh, x away from $1. This is an absolutely unbelievable opportunity where $1 million to become a millionaire costs you $2,900. You know what I mean? That is an expensive lottery. Don't get me wrong. It's an expensive lottery, but it's way better than gambling. Okay? Think about how many, you know, money people waste in a year. You know what I mean? I mean putting it in, a, in a something like this, you tell me which one's better, which one's not. Okay? Uh, anyways, I'm not a financial advisor, but do understand. Anyways, I've been making videos about PDI for like a year, guys. I want every single one here. If you've been watching me for a year plus or like around 10 months, you have to have at least 1 million PDI or half a million PDI at least. Okay? Because I've been telling you guys about PDI. I myself wish I have even more PDI. You know what I mean? I wish I had more. <laughs> uh, but PWBTC is the second chance as well. It hasn't grown as much as how uh, PDI did because the lowest number of PWBTC was like $16, oh, I wish, or $20, depending. Um, and then now it's hovering just above $150. Imagine turning back time in Bitcoin, having a chance to buy it $145. This is your chance. We are in Pulse Chain, ladies and gentlemen. This is the only place you ever get that chance because we are so unique. We're a full system state copy of Ethereum that made all of this possible. This is why we have the you know, the PRC 20 clones that took a snapshot from Ethereum before May 13th and then cloned it over in Pulse Chain, giving people the largest crypto airdrop for free. Most likely anyone who has participated in Ethereum comes on Pulse Chain can expect something gift of value. That's the freemium part of Pulse Chain. Super exciting stuff. You can check that out in Go Pulse and I believe it's coins and you can, uh, what was it? Yeah, go to apps and click on start, check my airdrop value, paste your wallet address. You don't need to connect to anything, but of course, same time, PulseX is a very trustable, it's my one-stop shop. I really like to use it. Guys, listen, I'm going to end the video there. I need to go and enjoy. I'm going to have some ribeye steak. I need to enjoy my weekend. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend as well. Go check out my latest videos. Thank you very, very much for choosing to support my channels, guys. I really appreciate you. You can obviously donate. I have a donation. I just like in the description. You can become a YouTube member. You can buy me coffee. Honestly, you just watching this video all the way to the end. I really, really do appreciate you. Um, you can comment down below to boost the YouTube algorithms. I shall check you guys in another video and take care. Bye-bye.